Hello YouTube. Today we're going to do a review of the snack treat called the Hai Chu. I don't have the original bag packaging, but I do have these examples of the treat. And today, I'm going to snack upon one each of the included flavors. Um, this is a candy from Japan, marketed in the States in big <clears throat> supermarket retailers. So this particular batch came from a supermarket called Kroger. I guess we'll begin with um, green apple then we'll move forward into grape followed by strawberry and between each flavorful nugget I'm going to clear my palate with some water. Uh, so this is my usual drinking vessel for water. It's a color changing cup. Um, so cold liquids are, well cold liquids will change the color. It's, it's kind of a, a minor change. It's not really spectacular. But I've used it uh, as my daily drinking cup. I, uh, well, I guess since I got it a few, probably a few years ago, maybe two and a half years ago, it's from the American Museum of Natural History. Um, so I think, I think that's in New York. Um, or it may be from Boston, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's, I carted it home in my backpack from a New York visit. Um, so here we go. Let's move on. Um, yeah, this is a great cup. I love it. I, it's been chewed up a little bit by the dog when it landed on the floor. Um, but whatever, I'm not sure what could have been in it that the dog would, would want to gnaw on the edge of the rim here. But I do really love this cup, and I need to probably experiment and see if uh, maybe some really cold liquid will still give it that color changing effect. Yeah, it looks like it does. Well, I'm not sure if the color changing effect is uh, getting less and less like pronounced over the years. So. My palette's nice and clear. On the packaging it says the website, highchew.com, make and train traces of milk and soybean. Now, I'll admit my first experience, I think it was my first experience with these a few days ago, I was not, I didn't really find them to be that stellar. Um, I like gummies a lot, but chews are kind of a different thing, so I'm not really a fan of like Starburst. Not that the flavor's bad or anything, it's just um, something about the candy having to be masticated for so long is just putting off-putting to me. So we're going to first have a look at it. It's a little bit of an off-white, uh, like a cream color. It's pressed into a little, um, kind of a little ovalish shape, and you can see a little bit of wear on the surface of the candy from probably the, maybe the packaging, but I think it's from the manufacturing process, making a ridged sort of a pattern. So. We're in for some surprises in a moment or two, but um, this is an attractive little candy. Let's go on with a little sample. 
Um, uh, well, it's not hard to do. I'm gonna... Just give this a couple moments. Well, you can see the attention to detail in the packaging with a little bit of a um, gradient from yellow to a green. And it's attractive packaging. There's a little apple there, a crisp looking green apple. And the flavor I'm getting is kind of a conventional fake apple flavor. Not unpleasant, not really um, mm, there's, an un, there's an unsettling kind of an acidity maybe. Uh, the tartness I'm sure is just an artificial um, some kind of a food acid. Um, mm, it's a little stingy on the palate. Mm. I do like the texture. But despite really wanting to like this flavor, I guess it's, it's my least favorite. The company, by the way, is Morinaga. Naga. And their corporate logo it's a little bit of a stylized M. Almost like a spider. Let me see if I can get it close enough where you can see. I just saw some spiders on a film today. On the new um, second installment of the Hobbit franchise. Hmm. A little blurry on my iPod camera. Overall, forgettable. Mm, the taste, I wouldn't really even consider it a good apple flavor. Uh, but mm, all things considered, the presentation and everything, for, agree, forgettable but um, agreeable enough and, a, and, and kind of a, a just a Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's it. Just barely agreeable. Um, let me just point. Let me see here. Yeah, everything else. Okay. So also, I do really love the little colorful s flashes of color uh, behind the Haichu branding. Looks pretty good. The camera won't pick it up, but it also is a gradient uh, from. A brilliant yellow to orange red and then kind of a pink into a, a very soft not a lavender but it's like a, maybe, a, maybe an indigo or something let's move on to grape break grape fruit juice and you see here it's the same packaging design our gradient comes from uh, from a soft pink to a full purple and, and, and a beautiful purple beautiful purple and the grapes that are being featured on the little packaging are uh, they look great there's just some dew gathering on them and they do have the mottled look of fresh grapes on a grapevine. And uh, let's go. So here is the exciting part. It's absolutely beautiful. It is just beautiful. So high marks. I mean, the I'm, I've used. The uh, word beautiful so many times over the last few minutes that that I I do have to admit that the packaging is kind of beautiful and the presentation especially here on the treat itself I think is just stellar. All right, 
Oh, uh, I didn't give a sniff check on the green apple, but you know, we'll forget about the green apple anyway. Smells good. Um, let me clear my palate because there are little remnants of that green apple. Uh, this this aroma to me is is good. Mm. It's got a grape aroma from I'm talking about like a vine grape, not um, well some of the denser grape juices like Welch's have a dankness to them that I like and it it does present that to my nostrils. So it's it's really just opening itself up. It's just a good bouquet. And it's got a grapey smell. So here we go. A little bit softer. Just a little softer. It's possible, but that the mm, the white material on the outside of the tree, the white portion, is a little softer than the um, the colorful inside bits. My palette is. Mm, Producing some saliva, and the combination of my um, palate response and the flavor just gives the the taste sensation of a juicy grape. It's a little off, just a little bit. Overall, really good. I like that. Consistency is good. Um, it's dissolving, or I mean, it's being broken down in my mouth in an appealing way. It's like it's easy to kind of manipulate the candy and swallow pieces of it and um, what you're left with is, is um, well I mean like the tackiness or the um, elasticity of the candy to, is good it's good overall really good um, I would say that the positives you know really outweigh the the very slight tang of maybe their uh, acidifying agent so it's there. It's a, it seems like it might be a different one, or it's in a different ratio. So, but it's really, um, it's really a minor complaint. I like that one. The last one we're having to that tonight is uh, strawberry. Soft pink interior. The more white candy uh, outside, outside uh, giving the appearance of a marrow bone, <laughs> a flavorful strawberry marrow bone. It smells pretty good. It's got a uh, more of a breakfast cereal strawberry smell. Uh, a little bit like a dehydrated strawberry that you would find in your breakfast food. Um, or an artificial smell, not like a, it doesn't have a fresh strawberry smell.
definitely a candy strawberry, a little bit grainy. Mm, I mean, like the texture is not grainy, but it's got a mouthfeel that produces a sensation of grittiness or grainy just a little bit. It's kind of subtle. Harder than the grape one. <clears throat> These were all stored in the same condition. Um, I'm not sure exactly the temperature, but the grape was easily the softest, even though they were stored in the same conditions. Um, beside a window in the winter, so on the cooler side, but not not refrigerated. Just you know, in a cool room was the storage um, situation. Tasty, uh, attractively presented, um, a little bit forgettable, a little bit more bland. Um, also picking up that undercurrent of maybe like a syrupy glucose, glucosey undercurrent. Um, texture's okay. Just kind of, you know, pleasantly, um, pleasant diversion. I was going to say pleasantly forgettable. Um, it's okay. Uh, I, I had kind of a negative reaction to green apple. This one is just meh. It's bad at all. Mm. But when I want a, a fruit fix, um, I kind of just prefer my go to gummies. These chews aren't really for me, but I can't say I dislike them. So there you have it. Um, tonight's review was the High Chew Candies. And thanks for watching. <laughs>